Hello and welcome to another tutorial by DMPC Web Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to batch convert high resolution images to a smaller image for web ready devices and for uploading to your website. Okay, we'll get started by downloading a free converter it's called easy thumbnails you can google it but I'll have the link in the description below and I'm just gonna paste that in here and now and go and it'll download the easy thumbnail setup file and then you'll go to wherever your downloads are mine goes to my desktop which I've got the icons turned off right now for this tutorial but you'll go to where your downloads are and you'll double click on uh, that easy thumbnail setup exe I'll pull it over here so you can see it right there and you'll click run and install easy thumbnails I have already have it installed but I'm gonna go through it anyway so you can see it uh, you just set the agreement click next and let it install where it wants to install it and you click next of course you can create a desktop icon if you want or a quick launch and you would just let it install I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this from this point but you just click next it'll install the program for you and then from there you will go open up the program if you chose to choose a desktop icon you have an icon for it on your desktop if not you can go to uh, start all programs scroll down to easy thumbnails folder and open up easy thumbnails okay now from here what you want to do is you want to you can pull this down here get a better view but you'll want to choose your image folder and mine are I put mine in a folder here already I've got some for testing I'm gonna use this for this video right here's my images you can click on it and see this is my full-size high-resolution image you can see these are 4,000 by 3,000 pixels it's a 2 2 meg file which is very very big for uploading to a web server and can take quite a bit of time if you have a few of these so what we're going to do is convert these to a to a web ready uh, interface so they'll upload real fast and what you want to do is go to settings and for this one I've chose 640 by 480 good resolution is 800 by 600 but I'm actually doing this for a client so I have his set up to be 640 by 480 so I've, that's what I've got the settings at but you'd want to go into your settings tab once you have this open and you'll want to set this right here to your max width and your max height like I say 800 by 600 is a good one but uh, <clears throat> I have the client set up for this one so I'm gonna do it for him because I'm specifically making this video for for my clients and this is the way I set theirs up but you'll set this to 640 and the width and you'll set the height to 480 and you want to reset this prefix here uh, make sure it's set to smart algorithm and type in web underscore and what this will do is add a, a uh, web underscore to the front of your images and you don't have to do this but I recommend doing this so if you accidentally have it set to the wrong folder that I'm going to show you here in a minute and accidentally set it to the same folder it won't overwrite your images that you have it'll all your web ready images will have web underscore in front of them and then you just uh, tell make sure this is set to shrink to fit on the resize and add the prefix name JPEG quality uh, you know I recommend around 80 you can go down to as low as as around 60 the 
the lower this is set, the smaller the image will be, but 80 is a pretty good setting and it'll work real good. And then you, if you want to preview the output image while you're looking at this, this will be the quality. You can click preview. This is actually going to be the image that, that it converts it to. And you can see it's going to bring it down to 60 bytes. Instead, it's not even going to be close to a meg. It's going to be a very, very small image, but still good quality and ready to upload to the web where it'll they'll upload real fast without any errors on the servers and puts a lot less strain on the server and it it uh, doesn't eat up your bandwidth for your website and web pages for the month you, most hosting companies will give you a monthly bandwidth so this right here won't eat them up uh, eat up all that bandwidth this will make it very very small and compact where it doesn't use any at all hardly so you want to go back to the files once you have all this set up you go back to files and what you want to do is make sure right here this will be the, where your images are you just browse to the folder you have your images in and like I say I've got a few we're going to do I think about 18 here but uh, I'm in that folder right here now and that has my images we're going to convert that's just the original 4,000 images here 4,000 by 3,000 pixels then you'll go down here to the save in folder and this is where you're going to save them to so you want to choose what I generally do is name a folder inside that same folder so I've got these images in 10911 generally I'll open that folder right there and I'll make a new folder and I'll call it web web ready and this way all those images will, will be in that same folder but they're inside this they'll be put inside this web ready folder so you'll click on that make sure it's highlighted after you create it right here and you click OK and now you'll see it change down here to new folder to web ready so now it's going to convert all these images inside the folder they're in in a folder called web ready all right and then all you've got to do at this point is come over here make sure you're you're in the right folder here and then you just come right over here and you click make all and you'll see it's converting them down here you can see your cursors moving but at this point you just let it convert them and you can see right down here in the lower left corner that it's on 4 of 18 5 of 18 6 of 18 and you just let it sit here and convert until it gets them all done if you've got a hundred or so it may take it a couple, you know a couple minutes or so uh, but it's it's generally pretty fast if your computers okay but this is a lot better doing it this way than getting halfway through your upload on your server and it didn't work or you get an error or or the server times out or you have a hop timeout before you're you're done then you have to redo them all again and it creates if you're trying to do it with the huge image and letting the server convert the images down on the fly that bandwidth is used up for the for that for your on your server if you do it this way they'll upload a lot quicker and you won't have all that bandwidth eat up so you know there's 18 it's already converted those those were 4,000 by 3,000 pixel images and it converted them to 640 by 480 and when that's done you just click OK and you're done that's it's converted the images and they're ready for upload now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up that folder this is the new folder I had them in this is an old one here I'm going to get rid of it all right what we did was this is the folder I had the original images in all right, and we we created that web ready folder inside here so these were all the original images and here's the web ready images ready to go and you can see now that they're still clear it's a good good quality image but uh, that's how you convert your images to make it a lot faster and a lot less strain on the server to it to put on the website and you can see I'm going to I'm going to actually show you I'm going to cut these and bring them back out here cuz I want to show you the difference in the size 
of all these images now. This folder here, if you'll look, you can see that it's 43 megs. Those 18 images at a 4000 resolution were 43 megs. All right, well, once they're converted, you can see these are the converted folder images. They're, they're not even a meg now. It's only 925 KBs. You still have a good quality image for uploading to your web server. And the web server don't have to convert them on the fly or work near as hard to do that. And it doesn't use all that bandwidth that you would normally be using trying to have it convert them on the fly. And a lot of times, you know, servers will give errors and things if you're trying to convert a huge pixel image down to web ready size image on the fly on the server a lot of times you get errors and things trying to do 50 or 100 of them and this is just a, a very simple easy way the program's free again it's called easy thumbnails and i'll put the link in the description uh, and Thanks for watching and hope this has helped you to understand how to convert your images. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.